you ever wondered why there's different color panels that you can choose colors from and ever wondered which one is better to use? Well, today let's go through which one's better, the sliders or the wheel. First off, before we start, yes, the obvious thing, this is a different room. We did move house and ignore the fact that my hair looks terrible and my beard looks terrible because I haven't found a barber's. Anyway, first off, let's go through where the color panel actually is, which usually by default is up in this top right corner here. For any reason, if you don't have it, if you head over to view, studio, color, you can always turn it on. So we've got it docked right here. And what we're gonna do is change it. Right now, we've got the wheel. So to change it to the sliders, all you do is head over to this hamburger menu up here, go down to sliders and you will be met with the slider menu. So if we head back to the wheel and we'll go through kind of how this is really easy to use. With this, you've got the colors around the outside and you've got the darkness of the color up in this black area, the lightness down in the white area, and then you've got the saturation over to where the color is actually pointing. So let's say for example, we chose green, wherever this circle on the outside is selecting the color, that side is the most saturated part. And then the furthest away is the least saturated. And then the lightness is to one side and the darkness is to the other side. So what this means is that I can very quickly pick a color, change the lightness and the saturation to pick what exactly I want using just one circle to decide what I actually need. Or if I think, you know what, I like that, but I want it to be slightly different. I can then change the actual color itself or the hue and pick a color very easily. So the real big benefit of this wheel is that you can pick a color quite easily and quite quickly and fine tune it very easily as well by just using this one little circle. If we head back over to the sliders now, so back up to the menu, down to sliders. Here we've got a similar color panel right at the bottom here, which we can choose a specific color, but it's quite hard to figure out exactly what color you want. So usually what people do is they use this as a ballpark. So if they know they want a green, they'll click green and then they can fine tune it. You've got three bars, usually corresponding to red, green, and blue. Now, if you don't have that, you may have HSL selected. So in this little menu here, if we select HSL, you'll see it'll have hue for the H, saturation and lightness, which is similar to how the wheel works. So we would change the hue, change the saturation, and change the lightness. We could use the sliders in that way, but keeping it with the RGB ones. What this now means though, is that if I pick, let's say a purple color, I can now fine tune really well how much red I want in this color, how much green I want in the color, and how much blue I want in the color, and find exactly what the color I want. And if needed be, I've got the hex code right there, so if I need to pass this on to anyone, I can just say, well, this is the exact color that I've used. So the benefit of the sliders is that you can really fine tune the color that you want. So it's a lot harder to find the actual color you want, but you can fine tune it very, very easily. Similar if we were in the HSL section, we could pick our hue and then we could change our saturation and lightness separate. Whereas in the wheel, we can do it all together. So if you think about it as the wheel being quick and the sliders being accurate, you can kind of see which way you might want to go. So overall, the way I see it, the wheel is great for speed. If we want to quickly select a color, change the lightness and the saturation really quickly and start our work just on that color really easily, really quick, few seconds. Whereas the sliders are more about control. So we can pick our color and then we can now control every little detail in terms of how much blue, red, and green we want to put into this color. But really it comes down to what your personal preference is. If you're here for speed, I would highly recommend the wheel. If you prefer it, or if you prefer the fine tune, then the sliders are probably better for you. But what I would say is that it is worth trying out both. Use each one for a good few weeks, see how you get on. If you're finding that you're not getting the colors that you really want, or if you find that you're not going as fast as you really want, some of that might be practice, but you may be able to choose which one is better for you. Personally, I prefer the wheel just because it is a lot easier for me to use. Pick a color, pick the saturation. It's just a couple clicks and that's it. I don't think I've ever actually used the sliders, but there is way too much control there that I really need. But on the odd occasion, I'll pick a color on the wheel and then head over to the sliders just to get the hex code 
just because it's easier to do it that way if I really need it. Hopefully that gives you some information to help decide which color panel you want to use, whether it's the sliders or the wheel. Comment down below which one you prefer to use and let's see what the consensus is. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this video right here. As always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.